This is John McQuay with 8541 Tactical, and we're here in the Night Force booth. We're going to talk to Sean. He's going to tell us a little bit about the new Mill C reticle that will be available this year. Sean? So the uh, Mill C reticle is something we developed with uh, feedback from the PRS series, Precision Rifle Shooters. Um, looking, targets keep getting smaller, movers seem to keep getting faster, so guys are wanting finer and finer graduations. I mean, several years ago, a half mil holds would have been enough. Now guys are wanting that one-tenth or .05 difference because they're finding that it makes a difference. So um, we've sponsored various teams and individual shooters, getting out shooting matches ourselves. And uh, so we, we worked out this uh, Mill C reticle. Um, it's a uh, um, BNR 5 to 25 first focal plane scope to start out. Um, it'll be uh, shipping out in the summertime. The reticle itself has a, uh, a floating center dot like an H59, whereas a lot of our others have a, a crosshair that kind of split the target. We've got a lot of requests for that nice, easy, precise dot. Okay. And then from there, it's really two tenths alternating lines, uh, both the elevation and the windage. We did bring over the uh, inverted T from the Mill R reticle. I had a lot of positive feedback on that. Guys like for a few stages that may have a, a flash range, it's real easy on that one. And then, uh, um, yeah, just, oh, we also thinned up the line a little bit versus the Mill R. So okay. for, again, smaller targets, longer ranges. And it, it seems that with the two-tenths spacing, it's kind of hard to get confused and say, oh, this is two-tenths or this is three-tenths. Some of those reticles really kind of switch things up, can get real interesting real quick. So yep. I, I like that you kind of kept the spacing consistent on those hash marks. So uh, will, when will it be available in the uh, new uh, 7 to 35? We are working on that now. We want to get it in the 5 to 25 first, proof it out, make sure people are happy. Um, just timeline-wise, it'll probably be later in 2017. Don't have a, a direct line yet, but it's something we're working on. Okay, and same pricing as the rest of your reticles? Correct, yeah, on. same price, the Mill R, MOAR, our night, our night Force reticles. Okay. So. All right, excellent. Uh, we'll uh, post up a, a picture of the actual reticle so you guys can see what the subtensions are and that. But uh, I see you got one other thing that we actually had a chance to use when we were uh, down at CORE. You talk to us about your new tripod. Okay, uh, yeah, this is something uh, several years ago we came out with our spotting scopes and we just had a lot of requests for tripods. And then again, uh, precision rifle shooting, it seems you almost have to have a tripod anymore for whether it's matches, field use, hunting. I know I found a tripod beneficial for hunting myself. So uh, this is envisioned as more of a backcountry field packable tripod, so it, it doesn't have big bulky legs, but they are carbon fibers, so they are strong. Uh, they're four sections, so they're tall enough where you can run a spotting scope at full standing, um, or the legs will adjust and the center section comes apart so you can run a short stem and run it very low and be prone to the grounds. Um, the legs, the two with the red anodized marks, actually removable, so you can run them as uh, trekking poles, and the box would uh, include a, a cap that goes on with straps. So for a guy that's looking to save weight, instead of poles and a tripod or whatever other devices, it's all in one package. Well, it's, uh, looks like you've got a really nice feature set. And of course, you can also convert it down to a monopod if you Correct. want to use it as a monopod. So, uh, and I like the details, of course, the, the knurling on the, yep. the knobs is yep. uh, very similar to the easy, knurling easy on the scopes. Easy to grab, yep. And, uh, so really nice, uh, nice overall. Uh, what's the price point going to be on it? Retail three ninety five. Okay. So and we'll be shipping them uh, probably before February. So okay. by the time people are probably watching it, we'll have some out in the market. And uh, we did get a chance to uh, shoot with uh, Accuracy International with a couple of different gas guns uh, on this out at core. Uh, it's fairly stable tripod for the the size and the weight. Uh, and it does really pack down really small, so easy to strap on the side of your pack. Exactly. Uh, not too much of a weight penalty, especially if you're shooting one of those matches where uh, you really don't know what you may encounter. So uh, we're really looking forward to getting this guy out and hopefully doing a long-term test on it, beating on it, and uh, seeing uh, how well it will support heavier rifles over time through various different shooting situations. So, Sean, thanks a lot for talking to us. Thanks for coming us. by. Yeah.